So if you're like me, you love tech. I've got this thing behind me right here. This is a home lab. A home lab that I've actually built and then I've Yes, you can have a home lab. You can stick it up in a cupboard, in the corner of a room in your house, but it's so much neater, so much cleaner if you stick it inside of a server rack. You can do some great things such as cable management, make it look really, really neat. You can put cooling, and it also keeps the noise down a little bit if you're running some beefy equipment within your home lab. We're gonna be showing you some of the gear that I've got and then setting it up within a server rack. Before we do this, I release videos every week on tech. Why did you click on that subscription button on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything? Best way to stay safe when you're on the internet, when you're logging in to your websites from any of your devices, from your computer, your iPhone, your iPad, your Android device, you need to get a VPN. VPN is one of those things that is like essential to ensure that you are secure when you are online. VPN, of course, encrypts your connection. You're going to have a connection that is a lot more safe and a lot more secure and a lot harder for people to be able to snoop and it gives you a lot more privacy. You need to get yourself a VPN. A VPN that I love, a VPN that I use all the time is NordVPN. Yes, there's a whole bunch of free ones out there, but the free ones honestly are not very good. They're not reliable. They throttle your connections and you get actually worse performance sometimes from some of these freebies. And I don't recommend them at all. So NordVPN, you gotta go get it and they've got a deal right now for my viewers where you get a bonus three months of NordVPN and a discount. You sign up for two years, 63% off, which is awesome. So you gotta go get NordVPN. Check out the link down below in the description of this video and make sure that you are safe when you are online. So this is my rack, my server cabinet that is empty. And you'll see that this is a smaller one. It's not like one of these tall high ones that you generally see inside of a business. This is more catered to a smaller business, a smaller company, and also perfect for home labs because they're not massive and you can really stick this into any corner of a room, into a garage, for example, and it's perfect. And I love the fact that it's got a clear perspex front so I can actually see what's going on inside. And here's all this cabling. It's a little bit of a mess at the moment, but we are gonna go and clean this up and make it all really nice. You'll also notice that on the left and on the right of one of these cabinets is I've actually got the little lock nuts where I can actually put in some screws to hold all of my equipment in place. The nice thing about this is I can open up the left or the right of my cabinet to actually get access to the sides and to the corners of my equipment. The very top, it's got some nice vents to make sure that things in there stay nice and cool. You can have ones that have built-in fans as well to actually keep the thing even cooler. And it's perfect. I can stick full-length servers into here. I can stick all of my switches, my routers, as well as some of my little devices as well. Now here's some of the equipment that I'm gonna go and actually install. Now in my case, I've got some full rack-based servers. You see a couple down the very bottom. I've then got a Synology NAS, which is also a rack, and I've also got a Cisco switch right over there. I've just got the luxury of having some of these as spares, but I'm gonna also look at putting some smaller units in their smaller computers. Here's an example of some of the rails that I can put against some of my equipment, like a server or a storage device. I love these trays. I find these extremely helpful because some equipment, you don't actually have the luxury of having a fully rack mounted device. So these are perfect, especially for a home lab. If you're gonna be buying little tech, if you're gonna be buying a few little computers, my storage device, my NAS, these are great because I can just stick the equipment onto there and it's a little bit neater and they've got slits on them. So there's a bit of ventilation. The last thing that you wanna do is just go and buy a whole bunch of these little computers and then stick them on top of each other. So this ensures that there's a bit of airflow between each of my devices to ensure that everything stays relatively cool. Given that these are more corporate -y, you're gonna find that there's a couple of powers here. I can actually have redundancy, multiple ethernet jacks, uh, and other bits that are a little bit more enterprise. So the nice thing about something like this is I can actually pump it full of RAM, potentially got two processors inside. So if I'm gonna be building a virtual environment, which is what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be running VMware, I've got a lot more grunt than I would have in a smaller type of computer. 
So close up of the rails themselves, and then here I've got my nuts and screws, which you can then just append to the actual rails themselves. And then of course, if you've got the rails that are on the side of your server, you can then just slide these right into place, screw them in, click them in, whatever the design is. I love the fact that I can put some PDUs, power distribution unit, easily distribute the power between all of my equipment. I don't wanna be putting in some dodgy, cheap power boards in my actual rack. Even though it is a home lab, I still want something that's a little bit more corporate -y and something that's gonna ensure that my equipment is kept safe should there be any power surges. So we've now put everything in there. You'll see that down the bottom, I've got my rack-based ones, my really long storage, my servers. I've then got an older PC. We then got a couple of NASs in there. I've got a Synology as well as a TerraMaster NAS. And these are my primary storage units and they are great for any form of home network because that's where I'm storing all of my data, lots and lots of data as well as building some virtual machines. I can actually stick those virtual machines on the NASs rather than using the hard drives on my servers. Couple of little computers, an Intel NUC, as well as a Mac mini. These are gonna be hosting my virtual machines as well as a couple of switches, a Cisco and a Netgear switch, and then a smaller Cisco switch at the very top, which has power over ethernet, which is great for powering some of my WAP wireless access points across my space. I've then decked it out with a nice screen, which I've got a KVM to actually connect it to some of my devices so I can see exactly what is running. And if you are interested in exactly what is running on here, I've got a full length video on some of the servers, but in short, I'm running VMware ESXi for virtualization. And in there, I've got things such as domain controllers, DHCP, DNS. I've got some firewall software called PFSense. I'm also running a WordPress website and a few other bits and pieces. Mix of flavors of both Windows and Linux. And look, you don't have to go for a rack. But what I love about a rack is that I can keep everything in a neat, compact space all in the one location. The nice thing about one of these, for example, is that it actually has wheels down the bottom as well. So I can easily wheel it in and out and it's all in the one spot. But that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. As I said, I've got a training course on Home Lab. Check that out and also subscribe to stay up to date with everything that we are releasing. Stay tuned for the next video where we talk about all things tech. We'll see you then.